welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tricks with your favorite instructor, Instructor Shelton. Today, we have the beautiful and talented Miss Ebony Wallace. How are you doing today, Ebony? Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing fantastic. I'm happy to be here. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. What is it that you do? Well, um, I am a staff developer for the Broward County Public Schools, where I engage in professional learning series, professional development. I have been in the school system for over 17 years, um, where I was a math coach, where I was a uh, team leader, where I have had various roles. Um, I am currently um, enrolled in doctoral studies um, for education. And I'm super excited to talk about how we can enhance the virtual online environment. So. All right, well, go ahead and get right into it. Give us some tips and tricks that we can use to enhance our, our virtual experience. Well, in the virtual <clears throat> classroom, you wanna think about it and make it as seamless as you would when you're presenting in a face-to-face -face classroom. So whenever I'm coaching people, I say, okay, listen, let your personality shine through, right? So I am all about using props. I am all about being animated. I am all about changing my clothes. Why? Because every time they come on, it gives them the opportunity to say, this is not the same mundane, right? I always encourage people and coach them, change your PowerPoint. No one wants to go in and see the same gray PowerPoint that you've been doing since 2005. Switch it up. Give, get into visual arts. Use colors that blend well together. Get you a nice color wheel so that you know what is visually appealing. Also, anytime you want to um, employ the use of multimedia, I always like to do short videos. I don't care if they're a minute or two minutes. Yeah that video on. Why? Because it's going to capture your audience. It's going to pull them in and it's going to give them the opportunity to see it in another way. Now, the caveat to that is sometimes it takes me six hours to find a two minute video that works. Sometimes <laughs> I have to slice it down, but yeah. it's well worth it. And usually in my 30 minute talk, they tell me that the three minute video is what they want to take away. It's what they what stood out. It stood out. Got the attention because it's, it's employing all of the modalities, right? It's got sight, it's got sound, it's got all these different things working and we're used to getting everything visually now, right? Everything's on our cell phone, everything is coming up um, visually, we're virtual. So if you can find a bomb video or if you can video yourself, listen, get your cell phone, put it on a timer, honey, and do you a three minute skit and put it on there so that now you have synchronous and asynchronous learning. They can come in in and out when they want to. So if they're absent, guess what you can say? Uh, go to the video. I already have it uploaded. Also recording your sessions. If you yes. are somebody who has a lot of people coming in and out and they're like, can you come, can you come again? No, but you know what? I have last week's session recorded. You can go and visit that episode or you can look at it. Record your sessions, Microsoft Screen, Stream does it. Um, just record what you do and record, record it and put it up so that they can see it at their own pace. You know what? And I learned that um, through trial and error to record my sessions because I literally would have students who would be out and then they would come back and be like, well, what did you cover? And then I'm thinking, okay, so you want me to reteach everything for that last 90 minute block? <laughs> you want a whole nother 90 minute out of class lesson? That's not going to work. So that made me start recording. And I have a module in my class that says, in case you missed it. So in case you missed it, click on that date. <laughs> so you can go through and you can sit through the 90 minute class and you can get whatever instruction you feel like you missed. Because to the expectation to reteach 90 minutes in addition to the 90 minutes that I'm currently teaching. Yeah, I, I learned that one real, real fast. All right, so Ms. Wallace, do you have any other tips for us or anything you would like to close out with? Uh, just please, please, please do not underestimate the use and the functionality of the chat box. Use your chat box. Allow them to show what they're feeling in a sentence, in a word, in an image, in a meme. Allow them to use that chat box because we want everybody writing. 
integrate. You want to integrate as much as possible. You want to be visual as much as possible. And a really awesome trick is to get a theme song. I know this sounds corny, but honey, my theme song is Lovely Day by Phil Winter. <laughs> so every time I come through, you're going to hear me bopping Lovely Day. And listen, it's so easy. All you have to do is when you're creating your slides, when you go to insert video, go to YouTube, get the embed code and just put the music in there. And that way it's playing seamlessly. It's coming through your computer and people know what to expect. So get a theme song, integrate music so that they know that you're coming through. So those are my clothes. Oh, I love that. I got to get me, you know, I play music, but I don't have like a theme song because I play all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh -huh. Get you a theme I song. This. Look, I gotta up my game a little bit. I gotta get me a theme song. I gotta figure out what my what my theme song, song for tips and tricks. Theme song, get a theme song, honey. Yes, yes, and they love it. And you can use it for your intro and your outro. But it just lets the world know that I am here. I love that. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And um, you have given us so much to think about and so many tips in this one short session that I would have to have you back just for some more tips, some more tricks, some more stuff teachers can use, educators can use, especially as it pertains to online instruction. So that has been this episode of Tips and Tricks with your favorite instructor, Instructor Shelton and Miss Ebony Wallace. See you guys later. Bye, guys.